Hi guys and welcome to the fifth video in the series Clinic Management System in C Sharp. So finally in this video we will start the first step in the development of our software. So in this video we will create the SQL database and all of the tables and relationships between tables as we have seen in the previous videos. So first of all, I'm opening up my uh, SQL Server Management Studio and then we're going to connect to our server. Then we're going to expand the databases. We're going to right click on it and click on New Database. I'm going to name my database CMS, which stands for Clinic Management System. Then click OK. So now that our database is created, we're going to expand it. We're going to expand tables. We're going to right click on tables and click on table to create a new table. So the first table that we will create is the user table. So the first field is the user underscore ID and it's an integer. And we're going to set it to the primary key. So right click on the field and click set as primary key. And we're going to go to the column properties. We're going to scroll down to identity specification. We're going to expand this, double click on its identity. And this is going to make this field auto increments. And this is what we want. The next field is the user underscore username. And it's a Vartar 50. And it does not allow null. So we're going to remove this. And then the user password, it's a var char 100. And also does not allow log. Okay, so that's it for the users. We're going to now save the, uh, the table. So in the table name, we're going to enter user. Okay, so we're done with the users. We're going to now right click on tables and click on table to create a new table. It's going to be the account table. So the first field is account underscore ID. It's an integer. It is a primary key and it's also auto incremented. And the next field is the account underscore user underscore ID. It's an integer and it's going to be a uh, foreign key. We're going to add this relation later on. The next Field is count underscore name is a var char uh, hundred and it does not now null. The next thing is account underscore dob which stands for the date of birth and it's obviously gonna be date. The next thing is account underscore creation underscore date and it's gonna be a date time stamp and does not and now null. And then the account underscore notes it's a var chore two hundred and then the account type account underscore type it's an integer and does not and now null. And finally the account underscore phone and it's a var char twenty. The relationship between this table and the user table, which is actually in the foreign key account underscore user underscore ID. So right click on this field and click on relationships. Then we want to add a new relationship. And we're going to go to the tables and columns specification. We're going to click on this button here. And we're going to choose the table with our primary key. So it is the user table. And the primary key that we are referencing is the user underscore ID, which in our table um, reflects in the uh, field account underscore user underscore ID. So I'm going to choose that, click OK. And then we're going to want to expand the insert and update specification. And in the delete rule, we're going to select cascade and to select cascade. And in the update, we're going to select cascade. And what this does is basically 
if we deleted a user, then its account is going to be automatically deleted. So let's close this and let's save our table and we're going to name it user, I mean account. Click OK. Then click Yes. OK, so now we created our account table. Right click on tables, click on table to create a new table, which is going to be the reservation table. So the first field is reservation underscore ID. It's going to be int. And it's going to be our primary key and also auto increment it. The next thing is reservation underscore patient underscore ID is a foreign key actually, but it does not allow null. And then we have a reservation underscore secretary underscore ID. And this is going to be an integer and it's a foreign key. Reservation underscore visit underscore date and it's obviously a date which does not allow malls. And then we have the reservation underscore visit underscore slot and it's an integer which does not allow malls. And finally we have the reservation underscore date which is going to be a uh, date time stamp which also does not now not okay so now we have to add our relationships so right click on any field and click on relationships and click add and in the tables and column specification we're gonna want to choose our primary key so for the patient ID it's going to be the account and account underscore ID which references our reflects in our table at the field reservation underscore patient ID. So I'm going to OK and then go to the insert and update specification. And we want to change both of those to um, cascade. And then add the other relationship. And this relationship is going to be. Uh, with table account also, so it's in account underscore ID with the uh, reservation underscore uh, secretary underscore ID. Then click OK, then close this, and let's save our table. And its name is reservation. Yes. Okay, so we're done with the reservation table. Let's now right click on tables and click table to create a new table. And it's actually the last table, which is the visit table. So the first is visit underscore ID, and it's an integer, and it is our primary key, and it is as well auto incremented. The next thing is the visit underscore reservation underscore ID, and it's an integer, and it does not now nulls. So this is a foreign key to the reservation ID in the reservation table. We're going to edit later on. Then we have the visit underscore doctor underscore ID. And it's also an integer which does not allow nulls. And this is a foreign key that references the uh, account ID of our doctor that is handling the current case. Then we have the visit underscore reasons. So this is a var tor 200. Let's make it allow nulls. Then we have the visit underscore diagnosis char 200 also, but does not allow nouns because um, each, um, I mean, when you visit the clinic, you must get a diagnosis, right? And then we have the visit underscore notes. So this is like extra notes. It's a war char 200. Let's make it allow now, okay? And then we have the visit underscore date, which is going to be the date that does not allow loss. And that's it for this table. Okay. So now we're going to add our relationships. So right click on any field and click on relationships and then add button. So um, the, for the reservation underscore ID, our table is going to be the reservation. And then we're going to choose the reservation ID. 
and for the foreign key table it is actually our table and it's the field visit underscore reservation underscore id then we're going to want to go to the insert and update specification and the delete row is going to be cascade and the update row is going to be cascaded as well let's now add our new relationship which is going to be with the uh, account table in the account underscore id and in our table i mean the foreign key table is going to be our table which is actually the visit table and the field is going to be visit underscore doctor underscore id and hit ok then close this and let's save our table its name is going to be visit and click yes Okay, and that's it. We're now done with our tables. If you ever face the problem that says that you cannot write to the table after it has been saved, then you want to go to the tools, then go to the options, go to the uh, designers, and then you're going to find that prevent saving changes that require table recreation is checked you just uncheck it like this click ok and then you're good to go so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next